What's up Katie Pack? welcome back to the channel and another video. Now, just before we jump into today's video, I just want to say ignore all the Overwatch gameplay, I'm not very good at it. I've just recently got PC, so don't hate on me too much about that. But I do want to talk about something that's recently annoyed me and many people, and that is the Ben Askren vs Jake Paul fight. Now, if you've been living under a rock, uh, let me just explain it quick for you, for the guys who don't know. Basically, if you're familiar with YouTube, you're obviously going to know the dickhead Jake Paul. Like, everyone knows him for being a, a, just a fucking cruel person <laughs> overall, or just annoying. Or, you know, everyone's seen Jake Paul in the life. Um, and Ben Askren is, well, was a retired um, MMA fighter. Uh, so, I, I don't know how them two mix in all this, but anyway... Jake Paul being Jake Paul, he's called out to everyone and, uh, you know, he's luckily got this fight. Now, everyone was put the money on Ben Askren to win. Like, as you would, because he's an MMA fighter and, you know, Jake Paul's just a YouTuber. Um, but first of all, before we even start talking about this fight, I just want to explain the whole event. Because it was a very much a shit show at the start to the end. Now, this event was hosted by Trilla. Now, Trilla done his last Jake Paul fight and it went actually really well. So, I was expecting not an amazing show, but, you know, a semi-decent show for, the, you know, what it is. Now, me being from the UK, we had to pay for it just straight up. Um, I f it was £18, yeah. £18, yeah, which is, you know, it, it's kind of on the pricey side. But, you know, I don't, I personally don't know how much boxing fights are. Like, I don't know how much the professionals will be, but I'm sure they'll be around the same price or even more. Um, now, this is the real kicker. If you was from America, this is what I've heard on American, you know, people from America. They paid $50 for this. Now, if I've got any American fans, like, feel free to comment uh, in the, like, comments below. But... I've even seen some people say they paid 60 for it. Now, if I paid that much, yeah, I would be fuming. If I paid at all, I'd be fuming about this because, as I said, this event is a shit show and we will explain that now. But if you paid the full price for this, I just hope <laughs> that you've got a refund of some sort. Like, if I, if I pay for this event i i will be triggered like i was i was i pay i like i streamed it i'll be honest i streamed it because i didn't you know i didn't think it'd be as good as it was but after streaming it i felt robbed you know of me time but anyway let's just explain the whole event now the event started off with the black keys performing now i absolutely love the black keys um like but every, everyone on twitter was just like uh, you know these these concerts they have <laughs> you might as well have called it a concert because every time the one fight like the undercard stopped more people would play like um it was like the black keys I, I can't even keep track of all of them they had like six plus bloody performances and they weren't performing one song each they were doing full like three four songs each if, like I was just sitting there, I was like, "Oh, for fuck's sake, can we just like, you know, what we've paid for here? Can we just watch the fight?" But anyway, it finally gets to the first undercard. Um, I, I'm not gonna name any of these names because I I've, I can't even remember them because they're that boring. Um, the first one, like these, these just these two buff guys just going at it. Like, did it, it, it was so boring. Like, I I had to just scroll through my phone. Like most of this thing, I was on my phone just scrolling. Um, through through Twitter and all that, but then after that fight, it was just pure concerts again. It was like f four different performances. Ice Cube was there, Snoop Dogg, which Snoop Dogg saved the show. Let's be fair, like Snoop Dogg, like pulled it out the park like he always does. Um, but yeah, Ice Cube, fucking, literally Doja Cat and all that. Everyone, which. If you like them, you like them, but you still, you still, you know, most of the people who are watching this are grown ass men who just want to see someone beat the shit out of each other. Um, but the whole reason why I, d I didn't like the performances is it just was too long. If it was just one song each, it would have been fine, but again, it's just too long. Anyway, uh, then this sec this second actually no it was the last undercard fight came and it was between uh, I can't even remember the names but I put the clip on screen now um it's some blue haired guy 
Um, and he, he basically claims that he got punched in the nuts. But you literally see on the replay all the different camera angles. The guy hit him in the side of the... <laughs> in his side. I don't know how he got away with this. But, like, I was so triggered about this just for the fact that... It, the, it was actually a really good fight. Like, I was actually in- entertained. It was it was going really well. And then he just fell on the floor claiming that he, he got hit in the balls. Bear in mind, his girlfriend, come on, fucking trying to comfort him. He was crying on the floor. He had to get off in a stretcher. I've seen less diving on football. And football's like a pussy sport sometimes. Like, literally. I, I, I play a clip right now. Just, you guys can see for yourself. Go. Good job tonight, ladies. Does he look like Grumpy, you think, guys? Oh! He said he hit him below the belt. Nah, he looked heartbroken. He looked oh, young oh, shit. I believe his wife oh, is having Can we see the replay? Really, that's uh, the garbanzo beans? That's the, gar- that's the bread basket the bread right basket. there. bread basket. Adios. We can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. See here, it, it looked like a legal part. Does he have blue balls or blue oh, hair? Yeah. That's, that's legal. That was 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 legal. Another thing to mention about this uh, whole, you know, this whole shit show um, was the commentary. The commentators for this, I don't know who hired them. I, I don't know who they are. Um, but literally, one was screaming, let's go the whole time. The other one was talking about blue balls and balls the whole time. Someone was talking about shit all the time. Literally, all of them were talking uh, like everything but the fight when the fights are happening they were just like it was like it's like you got some crowds in who are drunk and you ask them to commentate and that's what comes of it like it's so stupid <laughs> so stupid and like whoever hired them needs to like behave <laughs> like they need to get them out but like i give credit where credit's due again with snoop dog he did come in to the commentary uh the last and the final fight and the main fight like the last undercard and the main fight um he did commentary and he actually kicked them all into gear he was actually talking about the fight while keeping it funny now i don't mind funny commentary but you know when you're talking about blue balls and you know all random shit that's not about the fight you're just like shut up i had to mute them at some point because i was just like why like <laughs> but anyways guys let's just get straight into the actual main chunk of this video and why everyone was here in the first place the jake paul versus ben Askren fight now bear in mind with all the concert performances i started watching this at two in the morning in the uk and this main fight must have come on at five o'clock in the morning now before we even talk about it I just want to show the clip because the the fight literally only lasted about 26, 20, literally, I think it was 26 seconds or something stupid like that. So I showed the clip now. If I get copyrighted, I don't give a fuck because, like, people need to see this as what it is. So enjoy the clip, guys, and I'll tell you my thoughts about it afterwards. Get down, I try to tell you. You think I'm going to put $2 million on the motherfucking goofball? What the fuck? <laughs> so, Jake Ball sparred with former world champion Jean Pascal. And get my also money, Jake. Get my money. Oh. I basically showed that clip, guys, just uh, so you can see it for yourself if you haven't, and you can get your own thoughts and opinions on it before I say stuff and you believe me or you disagree with me or whatever. Um, obviously, this is an open end conversation, so talk about it in the comments if you agree with me, disagree with me. But my initial reaction, like if you see me on Twitter, my initial reaction was that was fucking rigged to fuck. Like that was rigged, hundred percent. That was rigged. Um, because it just happened for 20 seconds and it he got up straight away but i just want to not analyze it but i want to now i've calmed down now i've went through, through the whole event because i was triggered over the whole event i give my thoughts now about it because i've calmed down and i can see what it is now 
he, like who knows if it's rigged. Like I personally think there's something shady going on. Like I think either he's been paid to took it, uh, take a dive and act on it, or the refs being paid. But whatever it is, you know, you, you know they've they've made the what is it? They've made millions off this while we're just sitting at home just laughing and getting pissed off. But if you see the fight, um, Jake Paul, like fair play to him. Like as much as I hate him, as much like as much as he is a cunt, he gets a really really good punching. Like that that is a real punch. There's no doubt about it. There's no like saying it's a fake punch or it was, you know, it was a real punch. You can feel it. Like watch different camera angles. Like do videos outside of my video right now and watch the camera angles. It's fair enough. Like Jake Paul did. Like literally just hit him with a clean right hand and it would send him down but if you've i put a clip right now of ben Askren taking so many beatings in in like you know in an mma fight before and you know to see he goes down wobbling off one shot like let's be fair let's be fair but just watch this clip guys it's not looking good Askren is just holding it together it's looking not very good right now this i thought he was out i can't believe he's not out hey, look, as you can see, he's just getting the, you know, and he actually went up, he got up from that fight and won it. Like, it's, it's, it's so stupid. Now, I can, obviously I can see his legs wobbling, but he got up straight away and he said he was okay. I feel like the ref, because it's a main fight as well, like, I'm not a ref, so take this with a grain of salt, but because it's a main fight, he, like, he might as well have let them continue and then, and then if he got knocked down instantly because he was dizzy, you know, then literally then end it but he ended it so fast for like uh, you know a <laughs> for what it is like it should have continued in my opinion now i think jake paul was going to win anyway i think jake paul you know i've said it before the fight you can read on my twitter i thought jake paul was going to win um but literally for what it is it just makes youtube boxing just look stupid and this is what the main like the main thing I wanted to say in this video, like you get so much attention on these events, like and it, it's good because I want YouTubers to get attention, even if I do hate them, uh, hate like Jake Paul, um, but you know all these people like the MMA fight, like the MMA fans are watching and sticking up for Ben. YouTube fans are watching Jake Paul, like everyone's like coming together on this one event, and then they have such a shit show and event that. That no one is gonna take seriously. Imagine, imagine MMA fight fans like coming and just wanting to see fights happen, and they have to watch Doja Cat shake her ass on fucking on on you know a show before they can even barely watch one good fight. You know, it's it's it just makes the whole YouTube boxing scene kind of a joke, and they they need to just take it seriously. And whoever whoever they hired to do this event, it needs sacking, and. It's, it's just so frustrating because I, I do want YouTube boxing to be a thing. But, it, you know, as it is, everyone's just taking the piss out of YouTube boxing. And they're not helping themselves at all. Like, now, th that's basically what, you know, the overall thing is. I, I just... It could be so much better. Like, let's be all fair. Even if you agree with the fight or disagree, we all want one thing. And we want, like, you, the YouTube boxing scene to become one. Now, obviously, boxing fans and MMA fans might not want that. Like, fair enough. But I reckon it's going to happen in the future. But not when events are like this. But anyway, um, there's been talks after the fight. This is another point about him fighting um, Tommy Fury, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He's, uh, so, Tommy Fury wants to fight with Jake Paul. And Jake Paul says he'll fight him if... You know, his mate gets in the ring with Tyson Fury, and his, you should see his mate as mate shit himself, but whatever. Um, basically, you know, again, I think, I hope that fight happens. Like, Jake Paul needs to fight a professional boxer, but I've seen people on Twitter saying, oh, he hasn't proved himself, he hasn't. But if that fight was real, let's be fair, guys, it does, it, does, it looks fake as fuck, but if it is real, then you've got to give credit to Jake Paul, don't you? You've got to, like, you know, as much as we all hate him, you've got to give credit to him. Um, 
because you know he has trained hard like as much of a cocky dickhead he is he is training hard and he is uh, do- doing what he does but I think he'd only prove himself fully if he gets in a ring with a professional boxer and wins the fight that's the only time and he might he might even gain respect if he loses too but I feel like everyone hates to see Jake Paul win um in most things but yeah it's it's it again it's take it with a grain of salt give your thoughts and opinions down below this is a whole discussion video that we can talk hours on uh so i am actually just going to end the video here because we will be rambling which we have been rambling i take this video well over 30 minutes but yeah uh if you've enjoyed today's video i know it's been a ramble but leave a like on it um Obviously, subscribe to the channel for more content. I won't be talking about boxing unless it's YouTube, so don't expect boxing. Um, obviously, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below because this is going to open a really big discussion. Um, and I hope to catch you guys on my next video or videos. I hope you've enjoyed the Overwatch gameplay too, guys. I'll see you later. Peace. Not a motherfucking robot. He said that NFL teams have mascots, so why shouldn't boxers? Oh my god. This motherfucker Jake Paul off the chain, cuz. Huh? This fucking this dude, motherfucker dude, is a whole dude. other level of the game. Go I ahead, wish, Jake. I wish I was this dumb and so I could be that happy. Go you know ahead, what I mean? Jake. With this that confidence? <laughs> this motherfucker is a whole other level, Pete. Look at him. I I can't even hate. It's just like ridiculous. <laughs> they got fucking a buffer, dude. A buffer's about to go into the ring and announce the fight. Listen, this the, is the Triller. <laughs>